everyone welcome back to my channel um, today I have an unboxing to share with you guys uh, I know I've been doing a lot of unboxings lately but I do have just a few kits laying around that I did want to get out onto my channel and I'm actually really excited to unbox this kit because it's been a very long time since I've unboxed a dreamer designs now back in June I had a bunch of points that were set to expire on Dreamer Designs website so I decided to cash them in and I was able to get this particular kit. I think I had to pay a couple of dollars and then shipping um, and it is one that has been on my wish list so I went for it. Um, now I'm excited about this because I have not unboxed the new Dreamer Designs thing <laughs> so I haven't seen their new canvas or I think they might have new drills. I just I haven't seen the whole thing so what we're gonna do is Normally I would unbox this off camera, but because I haven't seen it before, I am going to unbox it with you, but I'm going to change the angle just a little bit, grab a box cutter, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have you guys zoomed in just a little bit. Now I will zoom out again uh, when the time comes to look at the actual canvas, and I'm just realizing that I think you guys are crooked, but would it be a video for me if you weren't crooked? <laughs> I don't know what a straight camera angle is anymore. It's awful. Okay. So, looking at the new box. We still have their infamous little <laughs> handle so you can take your box on the go. Uh, the design is different. And there is a coupon code on the side or like a QR code. Um... They're still going with purple branding, it looks like. And we do have the thumbnail for the image. Sticker is still on the bottom, but I will share that in a little bit. All right, let's open up this box. I guess I can put, oh, the uh, little cardboard piece still comes out of the box, which is funny. Okay, so we still have our dust jacket which is branded. I knew that was gonna happen. So we still have Dreamer Designs. It looks like the design is coming off, but that's okay. All right, so it still seems like they're using boxes that may be a tad bit too small. This is, you guys can see that, it is a little bit flat and crumpled on the bottom. And actually part of my canvas is folded in, but Dreamer Designs is poured blue, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. We have drills. And at the bottom here, we do, it seems like we have a toolkit. So it's a larger bag. I love these little bags from Dreamer Designs. I saved them and I do use them for other things, so that is cool. Okay, so it looks like our toolkit is completely different. Um, okay, we have two squishies in purple. We have some plastic bags. I'm just gonna throw all that stuff to the side. We have a pair of branded black tweezers. We have some multi-placers and a straightener. Now I'm a little disappointed to see that they have not upgraded to the new thinner multi-placers, which are like the opaque white ones. Let me know down below if you prefer this thicker style or the thinner ones. Uh, personally, I prefer the thinner ones. We have two pens. We have two pots of purple wax, which is neat. That is a new addition. We have this little brush with like a little hand. <laughs> I'm assuming this is to like get any debris or anything off of your drills. And then we have a new tray. So it does still say Dreamer Designs on the back. It's a purple sparkly one. I think this lifts up. Yeah, so the stopper lifts up, which isn't my favorite design, but ugh, that's okay. And then now we have these two Things which I, if I remember correctly are so you can separate like multiple colors. I've never 
I have purchased trays like this in the past, but they don't really work out for me. So I would be curious to see if this would actually work. I will say that these plastic pieces, this one seems really sturdy. This one does not. So maybe a little bit more attention to detail on that would be nice so that you would know that you would get these like sturdier ones than this one. I mean, if I really go hard on this one, I'm sure, yeah, it'll move around, but this one's just moving all over the place. So not sure I'm crazy about this new tray design. Um, it is nice to have a larger tray, but I find this contraption ugh, annoying. I'm going to lose this piece. So I don't know that I'll use this tray, but anyway, that's the new toolkit. And we have our drills and then we have our canvas. So I'm going to change the angle, uh, get this rolled out and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I just realized the toolkit is <laughs> still in the frame. Um, so this is the kit that I picked up. It's called Dough by the artist Curtis Reykjavich. It's a 60 by 80 square drill. This came out, I don't think it was last holiday season, but it's not a new release. It's been out for a bit, is what I'll say. Now, I was under the impression that Dreamer Designs had like changed their canvas and stuff, but the canvas doesn't look any different to me. I'm still having the same issues where it won't lay flat, which is why I have the box here. Um, I think the drill field looks clearer. I'm necessarily not someone who had a big issue with the drill field before. I actually like Dreamer Designs. I enjoy their canvases. I know this is probably sounding like a little, a little bah humbug. <laughs> um, I just was expecting more changes. Now, I've worked on a number of Dreamer Designs canvases. I've enjoyed them just fine. Um, I am aware of other people's concerns and other issues that they've had. And I definitely prefer Dreamer Designs round drills to their squares, but I was kind of expecting to open this kit and be a little bit more like, wow, this looks so different. They've made so many changes. And I guess maybe it's just been so long since I've looked at a Dreamer Designs that I'm not picking up on the differences. But if you've had an old kit and a new kit, did you see like big improvements to it or does it just kind of seem more like it's a rebranding? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I'm not seeing anything crazy different about this compared to my old kits, but again, it's been a while since I've looked at a Dreamer design, so it could just be me. And this isn't, I, I thoroughly enjoy Dreamer designs, okay? I have, I am an affiliate. I do have a link and a code and everything down below. I purchased this kit myself. I do enjoy Dreamer Designs kits, but I guess I was just, like I said, expecting to be wowed a little bit more when I opened this project. Saying that, this image is beautiful. I love Curtis Reykjavich. I think his artwork is amazing. Um, I know his artwork isn't for everyone and that's great. That's totally fine. Um, normally this isn't my style of artwork either, but there's just something about the way he does his pieces that I find beautiful and I really really enjoy them. So obviously this is a holiday themed one. I tentatively have this on my plan for the end of the year. We'll see if I'm able to make that happen. I always have like really big lofty goals from like October to December when in reality like those are some of the busiest times for me <laughs> and for a lot of us with you know fall and you're doing all these fun activities and then it's Thanksgiving and then it's my birthday and then it's Christmas and so I always have these big goals that I don't always reach so we'll see if I'm able to get this to this one but I think she's really adorable anyway let's talk about something that I am excited to see and that is this sticker sheet now my kits that I've had previously have had that really long strip I think at one point they did make them pre-cut labels, but before that they weren't. So I'm excited to see this sheet. It looks very similar to some other companies that are out there, but I think that that's okay in my personal opinion. I mean, how many different ways can you design a inventory sticker sheet? Uh, so that doesn't bother me too much. Um, but we do have a similar start end date type of thing if you use a log book which is nice. We have a couple of extra stickers. The Dreamer Designs logo is cut out, which is cool. And we have 63 colors with five, one, two, three, yeah, five ABs. So I'm excited 
to show you guys where um, I have found those ABs. I'm just taking a quick look at the symbols here because it does look like they took into account some people's concerns with symbols. Um, I do still see like two different directions of these double slash marks here. Not sure how close in color those will be on the canvas, but I'm only seeing like one direction of this, one direction, <laughs> of this sideways T. Um, I'm not seeing this, oh, I do see the staple in two different colors. So we have in like a dark gray and then a red, but I think that'll be different enough. Um, so it looks like they have taken into consideration some people's concerns about the symbols. How cute is the little flower? That looks new to me. I don't remember. Oh, I just saw another of the sideways T. Maybe I should take back my comment. <laughs> but anyway, the symbols don't look too bad. I am seeing another, um, we have a, is this the greater than, no, this is the less than symbol and the greater than symbol. Did I get that backwards? Those colors do look kind of similar. So they both look green. So that could be questionable, but again, well, I shouldn't say again, I haven't said this yet. Um, I won't know until I work on it. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I will say that looking at the canvas as I was unrolling it, the drill fill does look clearer to me. Now, I think I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I never necessarily had a big issue with that, but I know that some people did and it wasn't perfect for me either, but I didn't feel like the drill field clarity was a big issue for me, but it does look like they have improved it a little bit from what I can tell at least. Uh, so for our drills, I did find another pack of drills wrapped in the canvas when I unrolled it, but here's our color palette. A lot of Curtis's images are, you know, darker in theme. So you have some darker colors, but you do get lots of pops of fun, bright colors. Hopefully that resonates well. I'm a little concerned about these two really bright pinks here. I'm hoping those aren't in her skin tone. <laughs> I may have to take a quick peek at that because I don't love seeing those super bright pinks. But let's talk about the ABs first, and then maybe I'll take a quick look at the canvas and see if those bright pinks are in fact uh, in her face. So we have five ABs. Uh, the first one is a light pink. We have a white, a red, really pretty like Christmassy red. We have a darker shade of pink. And then we have, this is kind of like a corally pinky red. I would say this is like a true red. And then this one's just a little bit like on the coral side. So for the first AB, which is AB03, which is the light pink, I found that in, there's like really light strands of her hair. Um, I'm trying to see, like right here, you can kind of see that little light pink um, up here a little bit. Those are like little highlights and I think those are going to look really pretty. I will say the Curtis Reykjavik kits that I have worked on in the past, I've loved the way that Dreamer Designs has rendered the hair. The hair has always come out very well. In my opinion, I would say my biggest gripe with the rendering on the Curtis images tends to be the face, which is why I'm a little concerned about those two bright pinks that I saw. Um, the skin just tends to, to be a little bit off, but also the artwork, the original artwork that they're rendering off of, Curtis doesn't necessarily go for like a traditional skin tone. So it's not like a white or a tan or a brown. Like it, they always seem to just have that little bit of a different undertone, if that makes sense. Um, so I can imagine it's a little bit difficult for Dreamer Designs to render the skin, but again, we'll take a closer look at that in a second. Um, we have AB08, which is on her face. <laughs> so I found this in like the center part of her forehead and then also in her eyes. Totally fine with it being in her eyes. I'm also okay with ABs in the face 
but this stark white, I'm not so sure about. I will definitely be paying attention to the face as I'm working on this kit. I just don't know that a stark white AB is the way to go, but maybe. Let me take a quick peek here. I mean, she could just be super highlighted, so who knows? <laughs> um, I also found the white in the feathers of her neckline as well as around her wrists. Uh, next we have 61, which is AB666, which is that true red. And I found that in her antlers. Do I see any in the cardinal? I think there are some in the little cardinal friend there. I love that little guy right there. <laughs> um, I also saw some in her lips as well as these red ribbons. So she's holding this one attached to a bell and then she has one like hanging off of her antler. Um, I found some of those reds in there. Uh, our next AB is AB893. It's really pretty darker pink. And I found this throughout her hair. So her hair is gonna have like, it's the base is gonna be red, but there's gonna be some like pinky highlights, which I think could be really pretty. Um, but there is that color. And then our last AB is 3801. And again, I found that in the ribbons. So the one that she's holding and then the one around the bells up here. So let me, I don't normally do this on camera, but I'm gonna take a look at these two pink colors and see what number they are. I can never get my drills back in to the right, uh, into the bag the right way. So I hate taking them apart, but I'm very cur curious. So 35 and 48, 35 and 48. Okay, 48 is G and 35 is E. So I'm gonna move you guys down a little bit. And I just want to take a quick look at her face and her neck and see if these colors are in there. So let's see, I said G and E. Um, okay, I'm not seeing it in her face, which is great. I'm actually really happy about that. And I don't see it in her neck either. So where are these colors? G and E. Oh, okay. So they're throughout her hair. Well, that'll be interesting. Hmm. I feel like those are very bright colors for her hair. But when you look at the, the image here, I do see the pink. So we'll see. Okay. I'm glad to see that they're not in the face. That makes me feel a lot better. Um, I think they'll be interesting in the hair, but we'll see how it comes together as we work on it. So... I wanted to see if I saw any, yeah, some of those red ABs are also in these little holly berries. So that'll be pretty. Um, the only thing that I did notice was that it doesn't appear that there are any ABs charted in these white branches in the background. Um, it looks like we have, let's see, 3033. I don't know if I've ever seen that DMC before. And 453. I would probably consider picking up some ABs for the background. I did Snow Queen by Curtis Reykjavik, not last winter, but the winter before. And I'm pretty sure there were ABs in the trees and I just thought it looked really pretty. So I might consider adding in some ABs to the background. I think that would be really pretty. But also it could have been like a strategic design choice to not do that because she's going to have a lot of ABs. So we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but um, this is Doe from Dreamy Designs and the artist is Curtis Reykjavich. It's a 60 by 80 centimeter square drill. I am hoping to work on this one this winter. So if you are interested to hear um, how that happens, how that goes down for me, and if I notice any differences with the Dreamy Designs canvases, um, stay tuned. Hopefully I can make it happen. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.